Enjoy a free trial of AtBat 13 for the entire month of July 2013, courtesy of Ford. Hi everyone, welcome to Bucks on the Pond, powered by Ford. This is the game show where you win some bucks at the ballpark. I am your host, JB, in our MLB.com HQ, New York City. Today, we visit the friendly confines, see if a team of five can answer their way to some bucks and go further than their Cubs. Let's meet them, see how they do. What are your names? Where are you from? I'm Kate from Columbus, Ohio. Jim from Springfield, Illinois. Brian from Springfield, Illinois. Jamie from Chicago, Illinois. Laura from Chicago, Illinois. How do you five all know each other? We all went to college together. College, what? <laughs> so it's like a college reunion slash honeymoon in the bleachers. Is that what's going on here? Exactly. You guys ready to play some bucks on the pond from the friendly confines? We're ready. We're ready. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me just catch everybody up to speed on what we're doing here today. I'll ask you a trivia question on each pitch of this half inning of Cubs baseball. You get the question right, you bank the bucks. You get it wrong, that's a strike. Three strikes, and, well, you're out. I mean, you have to go back to the bleachers, which still is kind of a win anyway. Plus, there could be chances for bonus bucks along the way based on how the Cubs do on the field. That part we'll all find out about together. Westbrook is on the hill. The Jesus is at the dish. On the pitch, your first question. What is the two-letter abbreviation for the state of North Dakota? Yep, yep. ND. ND, you betcha. That's a good answer right there. There you go. Which Cubs second baseman appeared in 10 All Star games? De Jesus is going to fly out. Ryan Sandberg. Rhino is right. I mean, even if it's a guess, that's a pretty good guess. Uh, that is the first out in the inning. Correct answers are now going to be doubled up. There'll be worth 10 bucks a piece, but the questions will be a little bit harder, so I hope you guys can hang with it. In the movie A Few Good Men, what was the illegal order given by Code Colonel Jets? Whoa, couldn't even finish the question. Code Red is right with authority. <laughs> That's why he went to law school, right? Oh, yeah. I'm sure he went to law school so he could answer a trivia question at Wrigley Field about a few good men. Parents are really happy about that investment. 20 bucks in the bank, no strikes. What completes the following lyric? When the moon hits your eye like a... Big pizza pie. Big pizza pie. That's amore. Well done. Oh. He should have sang it. Yeah. Who was the Cubs opening day starting pitcher for six straight seasons from 2005 to 2010? That is hit into the air and will be out number two. Who started all those years? Jerry Wood. That's a good guess. It's not a good guess. Let's try. Oh, it's Zambrano. Yeah, it was Zambrano. Zambrano. It's just your first strike, though, no worries. And with the second out already in the inning, correct answer is now worth 20 bucks a piece. Which 1980s cartoon series was made into a feature film in 2011? Yeah, right. Smurfs. 20 bucks for those little blue critters. Uh, totally for no bonus money whatsoever. Uh, who's your favorite Smurf? Papa Smurf. Yeah, big time. <laughs> a lot of correlation between those two. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Which band won a Grammy in 1991 for the song Losing My Religion? R.E.M. R.E.M. is worth 20 bucks right there. Which queen did Julius Caesar help to gain control over her country? Not believe it takes a strike. Cleopatra. Cleopatra is correct. We needed that. We needed that one. Who is the all-time Cubs leader in hits, RBIs, and managerial wins? Ernie Banks? No, Mr. Cub is not right. Yeah. It's actually Cap Anson. What comedian had a routine called Seven Words You Can Never Say on television? That will be a base hit for Valbuena keeping the inning alive. Who had all those naughty words? George Carlin. George Carlin gets you 20 more bucks. Hey. Yeah, you knew the right comedian, and that's what's important. 110 bucks in your bank. Big time. I am not kidding you. That would just sort of be mean. That also brings us now to the Say the Word, powered by Ford Sync. With 110 bucks in the bank, you have crossed the $100 threshold and can now wager anywhere between five and that 110 on this next question. Get it right, you win that amount. Get it wrong, you lose. How much do you want to wager? Bet it all. Bet it all. Bet it all. All right. All in. Love that. Let's see what Frank Thomas has for you guys on this. Say the word. A relief pitcher that comes in for a save situation is called this six-letter word. Say the word. 
Closer. Closer is correct. Yay! Nicely done. <laughs> we needed that. <laughs> You guys do double your money. Plus, you get a 10 buck bonus for Rizzo knocking in Valbuena. What is the largest organ of the human body? Rizzo is trying to steal third, and oh, he's out. The Cardinals Santa baseball, third out of third. Right, you win now. Wrong, you lose. Largest human organ. Skin, skin. Skin, skin, skin for the win, win, win. There you go. That's how you do it. I am not kidding you. I haven't been kidding this whole time. That was a nice day. <laughs> 250 bucks for you. 50 oh, bucks a pop. Big time indeed. Big time performance in the bleachers as this college reunion slash honeymoon goes further than their favorite cubbies and takes home some bucks. I want to thank you for being with us for this episode of Bucks on the Pond, powered by Ford. I'm JB. Keep visiting MLB.com slash bucks. Who knows? Maybe next time we'll catch you at the ballpark. We want some bucks with bucks on the pond. Yeah. <laughs>